story, and I, um, I, used, uh, I used to work at Alta Vista in the 90s, and then uh, at Sun Microsystems uh, for the last five years, where I've been doing uh, research on um, the semantic web and then application being the social web. Um, and that is, how do we create a global social web uh, where everybody can participate uh, equally? So the web, the web 2 point problem is, is, is really quite simple, is that uh, you can have social networks in the web 2.0, and there's a lot of them, but you can only interact with people on that, uh, on that social network. So with LinkedIn, with LinkedIn friends, you can, only link, uh, you can only communicate them with them on LinkedIn, and Facebook on Facebook, you might have people on both, you're not able to uh, communicate between them. In uh, um, email, Email is a much older uh, communication medium, which has allowed social networks to exist globally, and so is the telephone. Um, and I don't think anybody would be uh, too happy if they discovered that they could only call people on their uh, mobile provider. Uh, so you could only call people who are in orange, or you could only email people who are from the university. What is interesting is that you want to email anybody anywhere that you want to communicate with or telephone anybody in the world you want to communicate with. So we want to just do the same thing with the social uh, networks, allow you to link up to anybody on any social network. So, yeah, there's, there's just two elements to it. Um, one is the semantic web, uh, linked data, uh, is used as linked data or hyperdata, um, which allows you to describe uh, objects in the world uh, in a distributed fashion. So just as you can create a web page and link to any other web page, so the, uh, uh, you can use any web page to describe anything and link to anything else. So, um, perhaps I'll uh, make that more, more practical. You would like to have your home page describe, yourse describe yourself and link to uh, any of your friends' home pages in, and, and describe the type of relationship you have. Are they friends? Are they buddies? Um, so that's the first aspect. And that's possible today. We can, we can do that very easily. We've been able to do that since 2001, 2002. Um, the next element, and that's what Folk Plus SSL is about, is allowing identification. So, so that not everybody can see every information about you and about your friends. You really want to be able to have what uh, Facebook and all of these social networking uh, providers have done so well, and that is create um, a bit of uh, an element of privacy. But you'd like the privacy to be global. I, you'd like to be able to be private with anybody on the internet that you want to be private with, and not just with people in your network. So the, the basic build, technological building blocks are in place and, and very well known. There's the URL, Universal Resource Locator, which allows us to, to identify anything anywhere in, in a global namespace. Uh, in order to get uh, the social web to, to work, um, so I don't, think it's, I don't think we need to have regulation on the technology. The technology is there. Um, <coughs> Uh, my guess is that in order to get the, the global web of data to work, uh, it's, a, it's both a, um, uh, it's, uh, we need to develop viral, um, useful technologies uh, that, um, that can grow. And then we can see as if they grow, if there's need for regulation. But hopefully, I think the, 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 uh, it should be quite feasible to the value of having a global network should be big enough that um, uh, uh, I think the market forces might be able to, to, to deal with them uh, uh, themselves. But I, I've got, I can't tell, I can't predict the future.